down. My hands are still shaking. You'd think after a few years of doing this job, I'd get over all this by now. But I guess I'm still the same girl who was pushed into this job all that time ago. I'd be out of here if I knew there was something, anything else I could do. But I can't. Not with all the pressure on me. My family. The government. I need to stop thinking about all of this. I do it too much as is. If I look nervous when the tribute was They'll be nervous too. Then, there'll be a better chance that I'll have another loser on my hands. Then I'll have to explain to my parents why. Oh. I just don't think I can bear to see another person's face again. I'm sending it to an almost certain death. Funny how I've pretty much assumed that my tributes will never win, even though the game hasn't even started yet. Oh, come in. Hello there. Very nice to meet you. I'm your dedicated administrator for the Hungry Games. From now until the countdown starts. Please, have a seat. I thought you might be hungry, so I ordered some food for us to munch on while we talk. Um, of course, I didn't know what your tastes are like. And if you have any allergies or anything like that, so I just ordered a bunch. Please, take whatever you like. Yes, I'm serious. It's all yours. Please, eat. No, don't apologize. I understand food like this is hard to come by in the districts. Well, I suppose I'll start with the food by saying that on your pre-game tour of Penang, you'll be free to order as much food as you'd like. Chances are, you'll need it to keep your energy while training. Uh, Alright. The training. Well, you'll have access to the best training technology available. It's useful for a wide variety of skills, both offensive and defensive. Physical and otherwise. Hmm. <sighs> yes. You certainly can win the games by non physical means. It's been done several times before, actually. They say a sharp mind is more dangerous than a sharp knife. Why do you ask? Oh, you're a doctor. I see. I'm sorry. It must be hard for you. Training all your life to save lives. Just to end up in a game where you're 
forced to take them. Certain your skills will come in handy. A wide breadth of knowledge on the human body is far from useless in the games. That being said, I'd advise you to take full advantage of the training facilities, even the ones with skills you think you're no good at. You must be prepared for anything in the games, even knowing just a little about a particular skill is better than knowing nothing. You want to give yourself the best possible chance of survival. to believe that you'll win. Most tributes go into the games thinking the same thing, but that mentality is deadly. Just as deadly as the other tributes are. Look at me. Put the food down for a second and look at me. You to try. You have to fight. You have to believe that you have a chance. Or else you'll lose for sure. If you go into the games thinking that you'll lose, you've already lost. That's what being an administrator has taught me. Please, try. Even if it seems impossible, it never really is. Like they say, may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's a game of odds. Nothing more, nothing less. More important aspect of upping your odds is making yourself more likable. Remember, the games are broadcast. People watch them to be entertained, so they're more likely to help you out if they think doing so will make more of a interesting watch. In other words, what you want is sponsor. People who are going to send you food and supplies while you're in the arena because they want to see you win. <laughs> well, there are a few strategies of getting people to do that for you. All of them... Well, they require some level of comfort with deception on your part. Everything has to be an act, and I mean everything. From the moment you wake, from the moment you go to sleep, you're playing a character. <laughs> it's... A big commitment, to say the least. But it does help your chances a lot. My last few tributes will refuse to put on a show like that. Either because they thought they couldn't do it, or because it went against their morals. It was one who tried it, but her mask slipped partly through her tour, and her feet was 
pretty much sealed. So yes, it is a big risk. A massive risk, actually. I don't know. I... I recently thought of a crazy idea that just might work. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I'll tell you. But you have to promise not to tell anyone else. Okay. If someone else steals our idea, then it'll be wasted. I need you to tell me right now that you keep it between us and us alone. Mm. Okay. Here's my idea. What if we pretend like we've fallen in love, administrator and tribute, like some kind of faded fairy tale love story? <laughs> I mean. Perfect. It has all the elements a good story needs. It's heartwarming, tragic, endearing. People will sponsor you because they'll think I'm waiting for you to win and come back to me. They'll want to see their romantic, happy ending. Again, I know I'm asking a lot of you, and this is just an idea, so feel free to say no, of course, but I really think that if we do this, we might have a real chance. <laughs> what do you say? Really? You're in? Are you sure? Once you're in, there's no getting out. Hmm. <sighs> Alright then. We'll start slow, but we have to make sure we have a strong connection by the end of the tour. Okay, you're going to walk out of this room, and you're going to act like we just had a normal meeting, okay? We'll start acting closer to each other in the coming weeks. Don't worry, I'll take care of all the details. You just follow my lead. Now, put a smile on your face and walk out. <sighs> well, that wasn't so bad, I guess. But I have my work cut out for myself now. <sighs> Whatever. If I can get one person to survive, I'll do whatever it takes. Well, here we are. It's a big day. Feels like it's been forever since we met each other.
I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I'm talking like this is some reason to celebrate. You're about to be... About to be... Sent into a death game. I just... I don't know what to say. Other than... Good luck. Thank you. These past months I've spent with you have been the best of my life. Hands down. I mean, who knew that after we started playing lovers, we would actually <sighs> become I guess it was kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy <laughs> it worked if nothing else I can't believe we got all those letters from people who said they'd lost someone they fell for in the games. And we got so many sponsors lining up to support you so quickly. I don't know whether to feel good or awful about it. I guess the strategy works. I just didn't expect it to work so well. That's beside the point. The point is, I, I had the time of my life with you. I wouldn't take any second I spent with you back. I don't care if this had to be the last time we may see each other. It, it was worth it. Just to be with you. No matter how little time we had. I, I mean that. Truly. From the bottom of my heart. I mean that. You are, you are, everything, the greatest thing that ever could have happened to me in my sad, dull life. I promise I'll scrounge up whatever money I can. And send you some ratatouille while you're out there. I know it was your favorite. So, please survive. Please survive so we can do that. I'll see if I can add a message to something to keep you going. No matter what happens, I just wanted you to know that I'm grateful and that I'll never forget you. I'll be waiting for you to get out of that so I can run into your arms just like everyone thinks I will. So, whenever you're scared, or you think it may be impossible to win. Just think of me. Think of the future, okay? Because I'll be thinking of you. I love you. I love you. Good luck. 
and I'm obligated to say this, but may the odds be ever in your favor.